Today I'll be talking about the wheel and axle, including the basic concept of it, as well as the differential. The wheel is a simple concept. It is essentially a cylinder that reduces the amount of um, effort you have to put on an object by having it go over a longer sp span of time because the wheel is spinning. Now, the wheel will generally be outfitted with something, whether it's a gear or a spike for a gear, a ridge or race for a pulley, or just some rubber for a tire for traction. The axle is also a simple concept. The axle is also a cylinder, except this one is usually much smaller and longer, with nothing usually outfitted around it, and it's designed to fit into a wheel and be secure so that when the axle turns, the wheel will also turn. In some versions of the wheel and axle, two wheels are connected to one axle, and when the axles turn, the wheels spin at the same time which works when it's going in a straight line. However, when it's turning one direction, one wheel has to travel a farther distance, like this, well this one has to travel a shorter distance, so this wheel will have to skid some in order to travel the complete distance in the same amount of revolutions. The differential is similar to the wheel and axle, except here, when it's going straight, it's still like the wheel and axle, with both of them turning at the same time, but when it turns, what happens is the gears in the center start to work. This gear will go forward, and this gear will rotate, and that gear will change, so this gear can go at a higher speed, while this gear goes at a slower speed, in order for it to not skid. And they're usually contained in some cylinder, such as this. In gears, say this gear is rotating this way, these gears are then pulling down on this, or pushing down on this, which will then cause these gears to go down, which will cause this gear to rotate this way, so that's why gears rotate in opposite directions when connected to each other. Now in pulleys, or gears connected with the chain, um, the two pulleys going through this pulley, or wheel, is going this way, then the pulley will be pulled, and then, I guess, pushed this way, causing this wheel to go this way. So that's why in pulleys, or gears connected by a chain, the wheels go the same direction. Now for ratios, this gear has 8 teeth, and this gear has 16 teeth. When this gear rotates once, this gear will rotate twice, because every gear tooth um, corresponds for one gear tooth for here. So when this gear tooth goes down, this gear tooth will also go down. So when this rotates once, because this is twice as many teeth as this does, this will rotate twice. This also applies to pulleys. 